Alright guys, in my last video, I had some dark icons on my S21 Ultra. I, you know, just took them off so I can show you guys how to apply them. Um, so they were third-party icons. It's very easy to apply. I get this question actually a lot. So I'm going to try to do more customization uh, videos and little tips for you guys. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need to do is go into the Galaxy Store and we're going to have to download an application called GoodLock. Once you download GoodLock and you go ahead and open it up, You're going to install this theme park application here. So you're going to have to install that. Now, once you install that, we're going to back out and we're going to go to our Play Store. So I'm just going to look for our Play Store. You're going to download an application called Icon Studio or just type that in Icon Studio and it'll this will pop up Icon Pack Studio. So that's what it's called Icon Pack Studio. And we're going to go ahead and install that all right so now we're going to go into icon pack studio and we're just going to type in what type of icons we're looking for so there's like there's there's a bunch right because it's a community everyone has that makes their own custom icons here so you can you know go crazy with whatever you're trying to get right all right so what we're going to do here is type in just dark because a lot of people were looking for like the dark icons uh, this one right here is a pro one, so you're going to have to pay for the subscription, but they have a lot of free ones, guys. ton of free ones uh, in here that you can go ahead and mess with here. So we're just going to find a dark icon here. And I think, I'm not sure where it was. Uh, let me keep scrolling. Yeah, so it's like this. So we'll, we'll use this one, for example. So we're going to go ahead and click download. And this was just made 10 hours ago. All right, so you guys can see I have a bunch of icon packs here. Uh, but once you go ahead and download that, so we'll use this one we just downloaded. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click OK. All right, so the icon pack is ready. And it's going to take us to our uh, folders here, so our downloads. So we're going to click Download, Exported Icon Pack. We're going to go ahead and I'll click, you know, Update or, yeah, I'll click Update. I already have it installed, that's why it popped up. Uh, but it's going to scan the icon pack. Google Play Store is going to scan it to make sure there's no virus or anything like that. All right, so now we're going to click install. I'm going to click open. All right, so this is how we apply the icon. So we're going to go into Good Lock. And remember the theme park. So we're going to click on theme park. Once you get this down the first time, it's, it's really not that hard. I know it looks like it's kind of like a lot of steps or whatever. Uh, but down here, it says icon. All right, so you guys can see. Now, I'm going to click create new because you probably won't have any of this. All right, so icon pack. And here's our third party exported icon. So we're going to click that. And you can see it shows a little preview of the icon. We're going to click the download. And we'll just type new. All right, so look for this new right here, whatever you named it. Click apply. And once we come back, as you can see, our icons have changed. So now we have, you know, that look. And it changes pretty much a lot of the icons. Uh, it changed almost all of my icons. Uh, sometimes it won't change every icon, but... Uh, their creator who made this, he has like all of these change. Um, but I, I noticed like sometimes it could be, you know, inconsistent. But I mean, it's pretty nice. So if you do want some custom icons, you can go ahead and do it like that. So we're going to do it one more time. Um, we're going to go into Icon Studio Pack. And let's go ahead and apply the transparent. So we're going to type or we're going to type in the glass. So we can get that that glass look I think someone was asking me about. Um, so this is kind of like, it's not quite like the iOS glass stuff. Um, I guess we can do this, this is fine. Glass effect, let's see how this looks. All right, so we're gonna click on that, apply. All right, once again, your icon pack is ready. All right, so we're gonna go to that, click update. Scan app again. 
So like I said, once you get it down packed, it's, it's pretty easy to come in here and, and do this. I'm going to click install. Alright, so then we're going to go back to our good lock theme park, create new, click on the icon pack, exported icon, and now you can see we have the clear one here, clear, alright, so we're going to tap on that clear one. And boom, now we have our clear icons. So that is pretty much how you do it if you want custom icons. And a lot of people, they, they want to know, how do I get like the one UI color? These are default icons, right? So when you go into the color palette, you turn this on, color palette, apply palette to app icon. So whatever color you have going on here, you can go ahead and change it and customize it. So this is red, the wallpaper is red, so we, we will want this to be red and it's going to go ahead and switch it to red icons no oh, wait I, I came out of it too fast so we're going to click apply all right so now it's going to go ahead and switch it so a lot of people they they think this is some icon pack this is a default i believe in like when ui 6 it's when ui 6 and up i, I believe um but yeah so that's that's all default right so yeah that's pretty much it guys